click on the system maintenance, then select configuration backup. In the backup section, click the backup button. The backup configuration file is now downloaded onto your computer. Ensure you store the backup configuration file in a folder where you can retrieve it when needed. Download the firmware that you wish to upgrade from the website of jtech.com.au. Ensure you extract the downloaded files. Disable the firewall protection in the Windows operating system before upgrading the firmware. Now log into the Dretex router. In the left hand panel, click on the system maintenance, then select firmware upgrade. In the web firmware upgrade, click on the browse button to select the firmware file you wish to upgrade. Then click on the upgrade button. Select OK. Remember to enable the firewall protection in the Windows operating system. To apply this method, you need Dratex Firmware Upgrade Utility Software. Remember to disable the firewall protection in the Windows operating system before upgrading the firmware. Log on to your router. Go to System Maintenance then select Firmware Upgrade and in the section of TFTP Firmware, Upgrade from LAN and click on OK. Double click on the icon of the Firmware Upgrade Utility Software from your computer, then fill in the detail on the page. Then click on the Send button. When the firmware is successfully upgraded, it will say the router is active now. To confirm if the firmware upgrade is successfully done, go to the dashboard page and check the firmware version. And remember to enable the fire protection in the Windows operating systems. If you have chosen this method to upgrade your firmware, you need a FTP software installed in your computer. This method is suitable to remotely upgrade the router firmware over the internet. Log on to the router and go to System Maintenance and select Management to enable the FTP server. Then click on the OK button. On the Reboot Systems page, select using current configuration and click on the OK button. Open your FTP software and enter the detail. Enter the IP address of the router, the username, and the router's password. Then click on the Connect button. Browse and select the firmware and exit the FTP software. The router will be reset automatically.